Let's take a look at the build you saw in the ISA using the Kopesh Tactical Dreadnought Warbird T6 using the or a plasma cannon build. I'm using the quad cannon plasma, the isolytic plasma dual cannons, a dual cannons pen, and a dual cannon pen, and the particle emission plasma torpedo launcher. You can also replace this with another uh, dual cannon. Then for deflector I use the Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter Deflector Ray from the Fleet Colony um, with the uh, weapon specialization. Then I use the prevailing fortified impulse engines from the competitive reputation. The Bajoran Defense Hyper Injection Singularity Core, where you can also use the uh, competitive core or the Elite Fleet Core. And then the prevailing innervated, innervated resilient shield array, also from the competitive reputation uh, with the crit severity and chance. And those two give the Starship Hull Capacity Weapon Specializations. And if you have the 3-piece, you also get the Irish Energy Damage Resistance Rating. Then for off weapons, I use three Plasma Turrets then. For devices, I use the Red Matter Capacitor, the Subspace Field Modulator, and the Battery Energy, battery energy Amplifier. For consoles, I use the Domino Clicky, mainly for the clicky and the accuracy from the Bajoran Interceptor. The Cacuonetic Converter from the Lobi store for the severity, crit chance and flight rate. Then the binaural infusion circuits for the crit severity, the whole capacity is nice too. 
Then the universal disruption pulse emitter together with the dynamic power redistribution module. Uh, this console on its own is just really good. And this one is to make the set, the two piece set for this bonus. You can also use the point defense bombardment console instead of this disruption pulse emitter one. Then the adaptive emergency systems from this ship or one of the other scimitars. And the flagship tactical computer also from this ship or the other scimitars. And they also give the two piece. Criticals of chance and flight turn rate. And for vulnerability locators, plasma. If you have some survivability issues, you can also use the colony tactical consoles, for instance. And for skills, I use a heavy tech uh, focus. For a more detailed rundown of my skill tree, uh, I have a video on my channel. And then I use Miracle Worker and Strategist for specializations. For traits, I use Inspirational Leader, Anchored, Cannon Training, which can be Superior Cannon Training, Context is for Kings, Innocuous, Operative, Accurate, which can be Superior Accurate, Fleet Coordinator, A Good Day to Die, and uh, Intense Focus. Then for Starship Traits, I use Emergency Weapon Cycles, Withering Barrage, Promise of Frosty, cold-hearted and supercharged weapons. Then for space reputation I used advanced targeting systems, the controlled countermeasure, magnified firepower and the precision and if you have the fifth one unlocked use the um, armor penetrating. Then for active reputation use all the space ones. Then for the stations, I use uh, all SRO officers because I'm a Romanon on this character. And then I use Distributed Targeting 1, Rally Point Marker 1, Attack Pattern Beta 2, Engineering Team 1, Auxiliary Power uh, to Batteries 1, Tech Team 1, Chemoside Lace 2, Torpedo Spread 3, and Cannon Scatter Volley 3. If you use a tactical console from the colony, you can replace this one with Faw or move some stuff around to get Faw in here as well for the extra proc. Then Emergency Power to Weapons 1, Ox the Bat 1, Science Team 1, and Hazard Emitters 2. And lastly, the Active Duty Officers, which is Attack Banner Beta uh, restores Holman Farming, a uh, chance to reduce the time. Re to recharge torpedoes and three technicians for the off the bat build and the new uh, warfare master. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more, and see you in the next one.